adding to my nostalgic dessert kick, I'm making chocolate dipped peanut coated ice cream cones. You know those ones that you would buy at the, well, the ice cream truck and you'd buy it and it had peanuts all over on the outside? Well, that's what this is inspired by, I guess. I don't actually even know the name of those, but I'm making them here and I'm making them today and I'm making them from scratch. The first thing that you need to do to start this process off is melt some chocolate. These are chocolate chips, a couple ounces. You're gonna need about eight ounces total and then fill some ice cream cones, just the bottoms with chocolate. This is gonna help it so that the ice cream as it starts melting doesn't drip out the bottom. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I have my ice cream cones standing up in some rice. It just makes it really easy to work with. It's kind of a cool tip. So stand your ice cream cones up, fill the bottoms with chocolate, shouldn't take too long for these to set. You can throw them in the freezer for a couple minutes before you add your ice cream. So this ice cream is my famous no churn ice cream. I've made it before. You can watch the video, just search for it right here on YouTube. And it comes out really great and you don't need any ice cream machine. So these ice cream cones traditionally are filled all the way up with ice cream and finished with a nice ball of ice cream on top. So that's what I'm gonna do. This homemade no churn ice cream is a fantastic texture even right out of the freezer. It's pretty soft. If you were using a harder ice cream, some of those premium ice creams that you buy are very hard. You would wanna soften it a bit before you tried to put it into your ice cream cones or you wouldn't be able to do it. Use a scoop for the tops. So you get your nice rounded top. Gets a little bit melty, but don't worry because it's going to go back in the freezer before you dip it in its final chocolate. So put them in the freezer. And if they seem misshapen or anything when you take them out of the freezer, you can always just sort of fix them up a little bit. Now for the dipping, this is the part where you kind of have to work a little bit quickly. Stir a tablespoon of vegetable oil into six ounces of melted chocolate chips. So it's eight ounces total for the recipe. This gives a nice smooth texture and helps it set nicely. Now quickly take your ice cream, dip, and then some peanuts on top. I guess you could dip this too, but I'm gonna sprinkle. Ah, uh, starting to look familiar? Yeah, baby. And then back in your rice and to back into the freezer, obviously once you've done them all. If you find that it's really getting crazy melty before you're done, just put it back in the freezer and then take it out when, they're, when they've stopped melting. Or, you know, eat that one. <laughs> Aren't they cute? They're so cute. If you feel the need to go totally crazy and cover the entire thing, go for it. And that's it, a super nostalgic treat from me to you and probably the easiest thing you're gonna make all summer. Mm. And the most satisfying. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.